Ukraine is using Polish-made PT-91 Tordy tanks, which were transferred in early 2023 during an operation in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. As Defense Express writes, the Polish side did not regulate the use of such tanks in battles against Russians directly on Russian territory. The Polish authorities in this story are guided by the following principle. After the physical transfer of this or that weapon to the disposal of the Ukrainian military, it is no longer Polish property, so Ukraine has the right to dispose of it as it sees fit. Polish diplomats stated this principle during a conversation with journalists from the Romanian specialized publication Defense Romania. Obviously, the voicing of this principle, which concerns Ukraine's actions on the battlefield, also has a certain significance for bilateral relations between Poland and Romania. At the same time, for example, the estimated number of PT-91 Twardy tanks that the Ukrainian armed forces can currently use in the Kursk region is not disclosed. This is more of a political incident than a factor that could have a large-scale impact on the course of events in the battlefield. It is also difficult to establish whether the PT-91 Twardy was used immediately from the first days of fighting in the Kursk region or whether these tanks were introduced into action in this direction somewhat later. Romanian journalists are using data indicating that Ukraine could have received several dozen PT-91 Tordy tanks from Poland as well as 250T-72M1 tanks. Polish PT-91 Tordy tanks were first delivered to Ukraine in July last year. The deliveries were confirmed by the head of the presidential office, Andrzej Yermak. The number of vehicles transferred was not reported at the time. In January 2023, Polish authorities announced that they would supply Ukraine with another 60 tanks of this model, taking into account previous deliveries of Polish T-72 non-modernized versions Poland turned out to be the largest supplier of tanks for the Ukrainian armed forces. Gracias. 